Fuji Kawaguchiko is located in Yamanashi Prefecture and it's one of the best places to view Mount Fuji. We're going to stay in Kawaguchiko and we are going to stay in Villa Overrun. Hey guys, so today we're going to eat at this restaurant. It's called Kanju Kyuya and I hope I pronounced it right. So I think their main menu is like Hoto Soup. We're going to order and then we'll show you what the menu is. We ordered chicken hotto set with the conger eel and also the pork hotto set. So this is how it looks inside the restaurant. So it has like um, little items that you can purchase as souvenir and then they even have indoor seating. So let's go take a look around. Good? Yeah. Man, it, it's really good. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. It's super good. It's got pumpkin tempura. I'm go ahead and try it out. Did you try that before? Mm. It's good. What's this? This is the chicken hot dough set. I'm so happy that you like it. Does it still have soup? A lot. So what did you think about the food? Yummy! Yummy? Uh, what number would you give it? Uh, number 8. So 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10. Great. Uh, what was your favorite part? Or what was your favorite food? Mm. The shrimp. The tempura shrimp. Great. Would you recommend this to other people? Yes. You would? All right. Yeah. What do you bye say? Bye-bye. Located just four minutes away from our cottage is Kawaguchi Asama Shrine. So we wanted to check this out because it's a world cultural heritage in Yamanashi. And the interesting thing in this shrine are the cedars, which are almost 1200 years old. So these are like natural monuments in Yamanashi. We're gonna drive up now and try to find the Tori in the sky. So let's see if we can find it today so we can show you. So we're walking up this path to try to get a photo of the Tori gate while Mount Fuji's in the background. So we just came all the way up here to take a photo in that tour gate. So we're here today at what is known as the Tori in the Sky and it is called Tenku no Tori. Um, it is located 30 minutes on foot away from Kawaguchi Asama Shrine and 10 minutes by car. And if you go further up, you can go to Shirataki Shrine.
we're done taking the photo now and um, showing you the Tori in the sky. So now we're going to check out the next place. So we're going to do the boat excursion which is 1,000 yen per adult and 500 per child but you can get the combo with the ropeway for 1,600 per adult and 800 per child. So we just drove here to show you where um, they usually take the famous photo of Mount Fuji in the street. But if you're visiting and you're taking the train, there is a train station that is close by called Gekoji Station. Mount Fuji Station is also nearby and you don't have to come here to take this photo. There's other things you can do in Fuji Yoshida like go to Chureto Pagoda or Fuji Q Highland. So this is the place where we took the photo and um, this is the famous place where um, Fuji Street View is taken. So we rented this um, pedal boat for 2,000 yen around Lake Kawaguchi Go. So fun. I'm the driver. You are the driver. <laughs> the I hope you're having fun. The driver ever. Me? We can't go there, okay? The buoy? Yeah. What's the buoy? So 
aside from the pedal boat duck rental, you can even rent a speedboat, but someone will be the driver for that. And there's the jet boat, the orange one right there. This is fun. Where are we going, Captain? Are we going backwards? Where do you want to go? I don't know. Are you having fun? Yes. Great. Do you recommend this? Like, what do you mean? Do you recommend this to other people? Yes. Or to other kids? Yes. It's your mommy. That's not pedaling. I am pedaling. That naughty duck, it's taking us in circles. <laughs> naughty duck. Come on, let's get it. It's getting more, oh no. All right, that's the end of our pedal boat duck tour. Did you have fun? Yeah, can we do this again another time? He wants to do it again. Okay, 20 bucks. Really? Yeah. Alright. Come on. That was the most ungraceful getting out of a pedal duck boat thing. Uh, at least I didn't fall in. Someone fell in the water earlier. So the key was in my back pocket and it fell out of and it fell out and it was in the duck. So luckily it was still there. You're no longer the key keeper. Hi everyone, so today we're going to take you to Oishi Park. So let's go! This is one of the best places to go to relax and just view Mount Fuji. Um, it's a little bit dull right now, but if you come during spring, summer or fall, you'll see different types of flowers. This guide map shows you the Fuji Five Lake area. And if you look at it, there's just so many different places you can go to. You can easily spend a few days here. Our next stop is in Oshino Hakai and we'll show you how it looks inside and why it's one of the popular places to go in Kawaguchiko. So this is um, one of the parking spaces and it's 300 yen and this is the parking for the tour buses. So this one is um, Oshino Kanko, it's a sightseeing bus. So it's one way for tourists to get around and to come here. This is the way to Oshino Hakai and the Shobuike Pond. And on the map, you can see there are eight ponds. So we're gonna go check them out. So, this is another interesting thing about Japan. So, this is a self pay parking. So, honesty system here. So, you just park and you just drop your money in here. 300 yen. Gosh, that is so beautiful. in Oshino Hakai and you can see the water is super clear so I'll show you up close so if you look inside it's so clear wow I don't know if you can really see it oh my gosh wow so these are fresh spring water it's so clear 
Oh, it's so clear. Okay, this is a better view. That is so beautiful. So this is cool. So you're gonna try to put your hand in the cold water for 30 seconds. So let's try it out. So this is um, a museum. So if you want to get a like better view of Mount Fuji, you can pay um, 300 yen to go inside, and you get to go up there and take a picture of Mount Fuji. So we came from the main pond, and then these are the other four ponds: Okamaike Pond, Shobuike, Kagamike, and Choshike Pond. So this is the other pond. Boom, be careful, look at first. So sacred place number four. So this is a Choshike pond. Wait for him. This pond is uh, smaller than the main pond. Yeah. Do they have fish in there? I don't know. Oh yeah, a little Oh, they have baby fish. But you can see it's clear. You can see inside. So this is one of the ponds. There's many flies. Wow, this Oshino village is just so beautiful. Like it's so peaceful. I know I say that a lot, but just imagine this river lined with cherry blossoms. Oh my gosh. restaurant right in front of the main pond and the seating inside looks so cozy such a nice um, such a nice restaurant so here are the other ponds so let's go in there
so that's the end of our video. That's the end of our tour at Oshino Hakai. I hope you enjoyed some of the places that we showed you. Um, there's much more things to do in Kawaguchiko, so stay tuned for that part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.